Hello and welcome to the next session of Selection of Textiles and Clothing. I'm Ashima Singh and I'm here with you to discuss different factors that affect selection of clothing. In our last session, we had discussed about the guiding principles of selections of textiles and clothing. Now, today, we will be discussing the factors that affect selection of clothing. What could be the factors that influence selection of clothing? It could be climate, occasion, age, profession and activity. Now one by one we would try to debrief what exactly we mean by climate. Now let us see how climate influences our selection of clothing. Why do you think we wear cotton during summers or woolens during winters? Have you ever seen that people who are living in hills will have a different set of clothing than people who are living in plains? The people who live in deserts have an entirely different set of clothing. We choose cottons for summers is because of the property of cotton as a fiber. Perhaps you would remember from our last discussion why we select cotton during summers basically depends upon the properties of cotton. We studied in our last lesson that cotton has a good wicking quality and it is highly absorbent, which means that it takes away perspiration from our body, it absorbs it and it also is a good conductor of heat, which means it takes the body heat from our body and throws it into the atmosphere. And that is why cotton is preferred during summers. Exactly the opposite is true for woolens, which we use in winters. Woolen is a bad conductor of heat. With the result, it keeps the entire body heat snug next to our body. It doesn't let it go and hence we feel warm and comfortable during winters. I want to discuss this picture with you. This is a gentleman from a desert area. Look at the amount of fabric he's wearing on his head. Now some of us might just consider that this so many meters of fabric on his head in the form of a turban is certainly going to make him feel very warm. So why is he wearing? Now there is a purpose. This turban is of, made up of cotton fabric while it absorbs all the perspiration and is cooling and yet this turban protects his head from the intense heat of a desert area. Another factor which is very important in the way we select garments is occasion. What are you going to wear at marriage or in an interview? Don't you think occasion makes a difference? In a marriage, you would obviously be wearing a different type of clothing than you would in everyday life. Now, we also have to see not only the occasion, but what is your connection to that occasion, which is a good factor that we need to consider. For example, if the marriage is of a very near relative or maybe your own sister, definitely the selection of your clothing will be different from those when you just go to attend a marriage ceremony of an acquaintance. So you understand how these things make a difference in the selection of clothing. For a meeting or an interview, you certainly know what to do and what not to do. Apart from the occasion, there are some other very important factors that we need to take care of. And that factor is age. As you would notice in this picture, that there are people from every age group and all of them are wearing different clothes. And that is because each age group has its own needs and the clothes must be selected according to that age group. Age certainly is a very important factor in selection of clothes and garments. As you would notice that a small child, a little infant, is very soft and tender. Hence, any clothing selected for this child should be soft and of a very light color. It should be absorbent because this child is still wetting. And hence, there should not be any catches 
or sharp edges in the material which will hurt or harm the child. Secondly, the kind of garment, because the garment has to be put onto the baby and taken off, it should be a kind of a garment that is easily slipped on and doesn't hurt the child too much. So these are the factors we take care of when baby is very small. But as the children grow and they become rough and they play around, so the clothing also needs to be rough and tough. And hence, our choice of fiber, fabric, and also the fabric construction techniques become different. So we choose the fabric which can take the rough play of young child. We also see that these children, when they are playing, they don't care about becoming dirty. And hence this garment should be easily washable and easy to take care of. After that comes young people. Most of the young people in schools and then colleges, for them fashion is more important than fit. So they go in for fashionable clothes, trendy clothes. They like to have clothes which can mix and match. Hence, solid colors are very important to them. And uh, this helps them in maintaining a large wardrobe despite having a smaller number of garments. So they are not too much into quality. They are more into uh, numbers and fashion. Next comes the working people who are in a mid adult age and uh, for them it is sense of propriety, it is sense of being in position, of uh, being decision makers, hence they have to give that kind of personality and uh, because of that they would choose a more formal set of clothing. We also need to see that the fiber that is selected for them is according to the climate and uh, also, since these men and women will be working long hours in office, the fabric should have actually been either mercerized or sanferized so that it doesn't crumple and it doesn't happen that in the evening they are looking completely crumpled and unprofessional. So they have a different set of needs and both the clothes and the fabric selected for their uh, need will be different. Similarly, if we come to old age, Old age has its own issues. The body becomes stiffer, the eyesight is failing and uh, it becomes difficult for them to do delicate tasks like, you know, buttoning and uh, lacing. So hence the garments or clothes chosen by them are a little more, you know, less fitted, easy to wash, lighter in color because the eyes are uh, failing. And also if they have any buttons or hook, it should be in the front and not at the back or on the side when it becomes difficult to reach it. And um, that is how age affects the kind of clothing we select. Apart from the age, there is another very important factor that we need to take care of and that is profession. We've already briefly touched about professional choosing the fabrics that are good or that will help them sustained throughout the day. Many professions have specific dress code and that not only gives them a special identity, but this dress code also makes sense. For example, this person you are seeing on your screen is a chef. Look at the identifying chef's cap. Now, why is this cap has been given to a chef? That is because no hair should fall in the food that's being cooked. That is important part of hygiene. You will also notice that chef often are in white dress. White has been chosen as a color for a chef because we don't want any stain or mark on his dress. If the dress is white, he will have to make sure that it's washed and cleaned every day, hence maintaining hygiene. I am sure all of us have gone to school and many of you would still be going to school. Every school has a dress code which is called uniform. Now, from the uniform, you can make out from which school this child is. The uniforms are not only worn by the school children, they are also worn in other professions, by nurses, by doctors, and by army people. Now, you would notice that a dress of an army man today and 200 years ago is 
similar and yet dissimilar. So many of the dress codes keep changing over the period and yet the idea of a uniform specifically for a profession or occupation remains. Activity is another important factor for which specific selection has to be made. Different sports require different gears and specific garments are worn for different activities. For example, let us take mountain climbing. If you were to climb mountain, would you wear the same dress as a tennis player would? I don't think so. You would be selecting garments which can withstand cold, which are light and yet maintain your body heat and so on and so forth. Whereas a tennis player would require light, highly absorbent fabrics that will absorb the excessive amount of perspiration that happens while the player is playing. Similarly, if you notice hockey, the dress code of a hockey player and the dress code of a goalkeeper entirely different. The difference is because of their specific needs and that is why the different garments for different needs makes its selection also very specific. Similarly, we have different clothes for leisure time, we have different clothes for nightwear and so on and so forth. We will certainly wear different clothes when we go to a movie or a mall with our friends than when we go to a temple with our family member. So every activity, age, climate and many other factors are responsible for the kind of clothing that we select. With that, we come to the end of this tutorial and I thank you all for joining us today. I look forward to see you for the next session.